All right, so here's the first in a small series of videos I'm going to do on sprouting the tamarind seeds. So as you can see, I got all my tamarind seeds right here. And I did a couple of experiments. I put them in water just to see if they would sprout. And what happens is the shell like melts off it. It's really weird. If you put them in water and you leave them in there for a few days, the shells will get soft and melt. And a couple of them had like sprouts on them, but I got rid of them. I just wanted to know if they were even viable to do that with. So we're just going to take these and put them in this pot. Now I'm just going to fill this whole pot with all these seeds and cover it. And I'm only going to keep like maybe one, yeah, maybe one or two for the you know winter just to let it grow out and get some leaves. And then we'll plant it out in spring and see how big it'll get for one season. So we're only going to keep one or two, or maybe I'll just let them all grow through the winter, either or. So let's grab a handful. Put them in the pot. We'll see what they do. Now, like I say, I had these in water, so they did... They did uh, shed their shell, and um, so I'm just going to kind of push them down. Nothing special. Now again, I'm just doing this for entertainment purposes. I'm really not. Yeah, I'm not going. I don't plan on growing tamarinds, uh, at least not here anyway. And if they grow, we'll see how they do. We'll see how they take the cold air and that kind of a thing and see how they deal with winter and if they'll grow even in the northern climate now these these are originally from Africa I think but then they got uh, like imported all around the world but originally they were from Africa so you got to imagine the environment in Africa is probably you know a lot hot, hotter and and that kind of a thing so we'll just poke these down I don't care if they're touching or not, like I say, you know, I'm going to separate them once they get roots. You know, I'll separate them out. I don't think they're all going to sprout. A couple might, though. But that's the purpose of the video is to see if they do sprout and how big we can let them grow and how they're going to handle cold weather and that kind of a thing. So you know if this is something that you might want to get into or... You know, if you can grow these where you live, if you live in Florida or Southern California or, or New Mexico or any of those kind of states, uh, it might be worth it for you to actually do this because this would be a great tree to grow. And you'll have pods and beans all year long. All right, so that's it. I'll give you an update uh, just as soon as they sprout. And we'll, we'll, we'll try to make this all into one video if we can. All right, so see you soon.